All right, so in this video, I'm going to be discussing things that I have done to get a flat belly. I have one video that focuses on exercises, and this video will concentrate on the things I've been doing diet-wise. So I'm going to be looking at my notes because there's a lot of things that I have been doing. So let me share with you what I have learned. So one thing that is important is your elimination. Some people have abdomens that stick out because they are not eliminating regularly like they should. So one thing you can do to help along with that is you can have a tablespoon of chia seeds or flax meal every day and that helps with elimination. And also make sure you're eating lots of fibrous foods. And then um, one tip that I've heard a lot is not to eat carbs after 7 o'clock. Carbs are your energy. Towards the end of the day, you don't really need a lot of energy. So you're not really going to burn those carbs. So you don't, you're going to end up storing them. So if you just don't eat them that close to bedtime, then you're good, you know, because your body slows down digestion and everything. So I've heard just not to eat carbs like two to three hours before you go to bed. So they kind of give seven as a guideline. For me, I've been keeping a food journal, which has been very important. And one thing I noticed was I loved popcorn and I would eat as much popcorn as I wanted all day. And I did notice a difference when I cut back to just having a serving of popcorn earlier in the day. So I think it's important to keep a food journal and you kind of pay attention to what's going on with your body it can, and it can help you um, as you're on your journey to try to lose fat and, you know, just fat in general, which will help you to get your flat belly. And then another thing I noticed is that when I would eat bread that I would get bloated. So I took bread out of my diet also. And what I do is I eat five to six meals a day. I eat every three hours. So when your body knows that it's going to get food on a consistent basis, then it will not have a problem with releasing fat. If you skip meals, then your body's going to think you're starving, so it's going to hold on to fat. So you don't want to do that. I drink 16 ounces of water before I have breakfast. So that is just because um, it's supposed to help speed up your metabolism. And then for me, also, drinking water is very important. And if I get those 16 ounces in from the very beginning, then I'll make sure I get it throughout the day. And then, which also helps with elimination. And then also, um, what was I going to say? When you get it, you want to get that water in throughout your day. Helps with elimination. And the other thing that it does is you also will eat less. And then you want to make sure you're eating a breath. You're eating your breakfast within an hour of waking up. And again, that's just so your body knows, you know, you are going to give it food. So feel free to release some fat. And then, because you, you know, you've been asleep for a long time and you haven't ate in a while, so it's important to break that fast as, as soon as possible. Abs are made in the kitchen, so a lot of it does have to do with the way you eat more so than how you exercise, but I think they are both important. You have to make sure to do both, I think. But it is important what you're eating. It's very important. And then, um, so you need to at least be on a clean diet. That means no processed food, no sugars. Try to stay away from the stuff that are in the inner aisles in the, in the grocery store. You really need to stick with like the outer perimeter. My preference, I would say, I'm a vegan, so I'm definitely going to tell you to be hitting up your produce, your fruits and veggies and things of that nature and kind of staying away from the dairy and the meat. That's my personal preference. That's what works for me. Um, and it can be done, so yeah. But you, at the very least, you have to be avoiding the sugars and the processed foods. And then another thing you can do is carb cycling, which is something I started doing on Jamie Eason's Live Fit Trainer. That helped me to lose a lot of fat that way. And then she also has you doing reduced calories, which um, helps you lose fat also. And then most recently, um, like I was discussing kind of with keeping my food diary and kind of noticing how my, how my body reacts to food, I did notice like my stomach is bigger after certain meals, my stomach is smaller in the morning than it is in the evening. And so I've actually come to realize that I have an intolerance to gluten. And so that's why I had to kick the bread. 
but also um, I was still eating other things that have wheat and rye in them and things like that, other forms of gluten. So that's why everything wasn't totally going away. So for the past three weeks, it's been three weeks, I've been totally void of gluten and I definitely see a big difference in doing that. So I have lost all the fat from my belly. I have no fat there. I can lay down and my stomach is flat. It's just when the gravity from me standing up, then it sticks out. And um, so then I was like, why is my belly not flat yet? And it's just because of the gluten intolerance, because I'm having some gut issues that has to heal itself. And then I will be able to have a flat belly. So it's just taking the time for that to heal and then I will have my flat belly. So that's what I'm waiting for currently. So definitely keep the food journal so you can kind of keep track of things like that to notice, you know, what your body may be having a hard time digesting. When it comes to digestion, something that I've also started doing is adding a tablespoon of lemon to my room temperature water. I've been doing it um, with my 16 ounces of water that I drink in the morning before breakfast. But I also am trying to get in the habit of kind of just really doing it throughout the day. But in particular before dinner, because I think that's when I'm kind of really noticing. That's when your digestion slows down later on in the day. And I think that's really when I'm noticing kind of the belly getting bigger. And I think that that would help kind of to um, speed up my digestion. So you're supposed to finish drinking water 15 minutes prior to the meal, not drink any water during your meal, and not drink any water or any kind of liquid 30 minutes after you eat. So I've been doing that also to help with my digestion. And that's all I've been doing as far as my diet is concerned. If you have any questions, if you'd like anything explained more or anything, just feel free to leave a comment. Alright, so I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.